Harris better than Davis, or what? Tell us the story behind it. <laughs> of course, I just wanted my old boy name. Okay. It's not really nothing personal. I just wanted my dad's name. I just feel comfortable with Harris. What's your dad's first name? Lakendrick. L A K E N D R I C K. Is it all lowercase? No caps in there? Capital L. Okay. Right. Cam, well, do, do you look at this competition as, okay, DJ's the older player, so he'll probably start. <coughs> I just want to compete for carries as number two, or do you look at it as, I want to challenge DJ to start, to be the starting running back for UM? Well, we all just challenging each other to be better. You know, everything we come out here is to compete, to make each other better. So it's nothing really about who want to be first or second. If your name called, be the best man. D. Wiggins told us you put on about 15 pounds of muscle uh, since the end of last season. How's your body changed from the end of last season? What have you sort of been focusing on physically? Well, my body changed a lot since Coach Philly came in. And when I came in as a freshman, I, was, I had 11% body fat, now I'm down to 6.8. You know, pure muscle. Um, I weigh in 205. I feel like I got faster, stronger, ability to cut. Different offensive linemen in front of you. Obviously, you only got two guys back who are part of the rotation. What have you seen from those guys, um, you know, as far as the right side? Because that's obviously changed. Well, I'm very comfortable with all my linemen. Everybody, you know, we just got to get the play butt down pat. But we're going to get better and better every day. So there's nothing really to it. But we, we all going to be comfortable on hey, August 21st. Yeah. I'm at 24. What, what up? What is this offense? What do you think this offense is going to be like? You still don't know who the quarterback's going to be. There's different styles there. There's a new coordinator. What do you think it's going to look like? Uh, I'm not sure who the quarterback going to be, but everybody at that quarterback position is the man. And they all compete. They all competitive. They all good. So having said that, what do you think the offense is going to look like? The offense is going to be good. Once we get this playbook down, Pat, it's going to be awesome. How much is it? What's the challenge been like of learning that playbook? Is, is it hard or is it, you know, what, is, what has been the biggest challenge there? The language, the... It's not hard, it's just in, in a different terminology. And in, in a better way. You know, once you come back and do on your off time, learn the playbook, mm -hmm. you should be able to learn faster, faster, faster. You had to be patient last year before you got your chance. Once you did, you took advantage of it. How pleased were you with what you put on tape in November? I was very pleased, and I, and I thank God for that, for giving me a chance to play on the field. What's it like catching passes uh, from Tate Martel? Uh, it, it's good catching passes from Tate Martel, but it's very good to catch passes from all my quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm very comfortable with all my quarterbacks. Coach Enos was saying those guys are, are sort of all working through different mechanical things. And at the times that we've seen Tate, he's sort of been missing guys left and right. Are you guys sort of being patient with the quarterbacks, knowing they're all sort of working on something? Yeah, we're very patient. What when that time has come, it's going to come. Y'all just watch. What kind of growth have you seen from Jaron and the postseason from the end of last season to, to where we are now? Uh, with Jaron and Kosey, and then them boys funny, man. I really love them boys. And they getting better and better from last year. You know, the stuff we did last year, it was hard. Now this year, they came with a different mindset. Now it's time to win. We're we going for the natty.